Welcome! You're listening to Making Relationships Work. We're a company focused on women and their marriage. We lead and teach women just like you how to grow into and access, whenever you need to, your wise woman self. The part of you who is deeply connected to your purpose, your innate wisdom and your husband and family. We teach women in marriages how to rebuild trust and connection, to work through conflicts, no matter how deep, no matter how painful, and to lead your marriage to a place where the two of you experience marriage mastery. This podcast is about learning the systems and techniques that truly work to reconnect you back into your marriage so that you can experience the freedom that comes with a masterful marriage. Since this podcast is totally free, if you're getting tons of value and you want to support us and make sure that you get more of this good stuff, subscribe below and rate and review our podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hello, Women Making Marriages Work. Hello, Making Relationships Work Facebook and our podcast and YouTube channel. It's really nice to be here with you tonight, albeit from very different circumstances than we could have imagined three or four or six weeks ago. I'm here tonight as a call to action, as a, I guess, a defining leadership moment for each and every one of us as we face down the literal creation of history each and every day. And we do so in the great unknown, where the things that we've used to buffer us, like shopping or copies with friends or watching a game or going to the store, are all stripped away from us. And we have all of our favorite people at home all at once. And that is different and unusual and uncomfortable and bringing up all kinds of things that you probably don't know how to deal with. And there's no escape. There's nowhere to go, there's no place to be, there's nothing to do. And now you have the best people in your life in one space for a prolonged period of time. And it's your opportunity to really use this time together to change the course of history for your own little family and to show leadership in your community for those around you. I'm here to serve as a reminder of your incredible importance in the lives of those who you adore and who adore you. I'm here to remind you that you have work to do. You have growth to overcome and that nobody is going to lead in this space for you. You need to come and do this leadership work. And so here we go. It's a scary, uncertain time, no doubt about it. We don't understand how this is going to impact us. We can't predict what life will look like in three or six or eight weeks, let alone months. But what we do know is that you have never been required more to lead than you are right now. You might feel tired. You might not know what this actually means. It might sound as um, unclear as some of the messaging our governments are giving us around what this virus is. So let's break this down. Let's get really clear because not only do your children need you, but your community needs your solidarity that comes with a stable family structure that you can lead and you can influence at this point. And so you you might think, how am I going to do this? My children are up in my (laughs) business 24 seven. My husband can't self-soothe through sports channels or going out and having a beer with his friends or going to work and having some space. And all of a sudden you've got a whole lot of dynamics in your ha- in your house and there's no easy way to avoid them. And so you and I both have heard on the news that there are two likely outcomes from this period of si- social isolation. The first is a baby boom in about 10 months time. But the second one is a heap of domestic violence and a rise in what we call situational domestic violence, which is this not knowing how to be together. And so this conversation with us today is about neither of those things. If you have domestic violence in your home, you need to seek local in-person support and help. However, there's a, there's a middle bit, isn't there, between making babies <laughs> and domestic violence and that is probably where you're going to be and so this is what we're going to talk about tonight 
because you're going to be home together. You're going to be home together and all of your issues are going to become very visible. And so each member of your family is going to become acutely aware of the foibles, the fallacies, the inconsistencies, the issues, the drama that lives in your marriage. And now is an opportunity for you to put on your, what's a nice way of saying it, put on your courage kind of shoes and wade into working through what your marriage is and what it needs to be and what the problems are without using avoidance coping strategies like going out, going to the gym, catching a game, going to work. All of those things buy us time, but the real opportunity here is to do the actual work that you are here being called to do. There is literally nothing else that you can be doing besides working this through and coming out the other side, more committed, more, love, more loved, more loving, more connected than ever before. This is our opportunity. And let's face it, when in history, in our immediate history, have we ever had the time to invest in this space, to grow in this space? And so let me be your reminder that there is an opportunity here to do the work. And for those of you who want to do the work, I'm here to help. You can always watch my masterclass. It's a really good beginning of how to cultivate strong relationships and the material in there, a little bit of it, will of course work with your children as well. Not the bit about sex, but the rest of it. And so I want to bring to you a challenge. I want to challenge you to use this time to create, not to go down into the depths of fear, not to waste this connection opportunity with your husband, not to waste this opportunity to show your kids what a leader looks and feels like in the midst of the unknown, in the midst of a crisis. I want you to come out of this far better and so grateful for the opportunity than where you are you now or where you were two weeks ago because two weeks ago we didn't know this was coming and it seems like the whole world has stopped and so can you you can stop and you can look around and you can say is this really what my legacy is have i really done a good enough job in my marriage have i really shown up as a great leader in our family am i the wise woman matriarch that i really know i'm supposed to be because it's written in my heart, the truth of it. And if the answer to any of those is no, or not very often, or not that often, then I want to call you in to come and do the work. Because we are here, we are inundated with women who are here to do the work. They understand where we are and what is required of us. And they understand that they need the skill set to be able to do what is needed. And so if this speaks to you, I want to hear from you. I'm going to put my uh, calendar link below so you can book a time with me and my team to talk. And I'm also going to put the masterclass link here so that we <laughs> can make sure you've got the skills that you need. Yes. So they're the two things I'm going to do. I'm also going to run a challenge. Uh, later this week. And so I want you to be right across that, but you'll see more details of that coming. This is designed to give you energy. When you've got the energy, you need to do something with it though. And that is where this opportunity to step into your leadership, to step into your truth, to step into your legacy and start creating the life that you were born to lead, the life that you want to teach your children how to have, and the life that you want to share with your beautiful and beloved husband. Here we go. This is not a drill. This is not a test. We've been training our whole life for this. And here we are. Now is the time. Put your courage gum boots on. Put on your big girl pants. Let's go. Let's do the work. Let's up level you so that you and your family have a totally different experience post this six month to 12 month expected impact of this virus. Okay, my friends, I've given you the links. I can't wait to talk to you. Much love to each one of you.
Bye, darlings. Stay safe. Clean hands. Think about your neighbor. Don't hoard. And let's do the work. Let's grow. Let's switch our lights on. Let's be the, let's be the change we want to see. Let's be the leaders that others remember. Bye, darlings. Thank you for tuning into today's show. If you're feeling fired up and you're ready to grow and you want to know more about how to do that, here is what I want you to do now. I want you to watch my marriage masterclass. This masterclass will show you how my clients have turned their struggling marriages into thriving marriages, even without their husband's buy-in. How my clients have gone from cycles of poor communication, disconnect and loneliness to being teammates and soulmates with their husbands again, even after they've already tried everything. And the proven system my clients use to start transforming their marriages in minutes, not years, because life is too precious to waste one more minute in an unhappy and unfulfilling marriage. So if this is what you're looking for, I want you to click the link below and take a look at my mouth.